Hello and welcome. I'm Douglas Yule, Executive Director here at the Atlas Performing Arts Center, and I want to welcome you and say hello. Uh, I'm joined today by our wonderful Pascal Emmanuel Noama, our Director of Development, and the wonderful Rachel Pearl, who is an Atlas donor, friend, and uh, great supporter of the work that we do here. I uh, wanted to uh, reach out to all of you and send out a message uh, because I am continually asked a very basic question. When will the Atlas reopen? And that's a very good question. And we will reopen as soon as it is certainly safe. Uh, and uh, for all of our uh, staff, our employees, as well as you as our wonderful, wonderful patrons. But although we may not have a clear, clear open date set as of yet, as things continue to progress in our world, but we are still making plans. And soon enough, we are going to be welcoming back to this, our stages all of our wonderful resident arts partners who anchor our performance season here at the Atlas, including Mosaic Theater Company of D.C., Step Africa, Capital City Symphony, and also looking forward to the reopening of Joy of Motion Dance Center, where wonderful, wonderful dance education takes place here at the Atlas every day. Um, you know, it is, it's through these partnerships, it's through these connections that the Atlas evolves and becomes a very strong community-based performing arts center. And again, I want to stress how wonderfully important it is for us to have such a great community, people such as yourselves that really make the Atlas so dynamic and so vital and certainly so essential in many people's lives. I'd like to say one such individual that really helps make that cohesiveness happen and make the Atlas happen is our wonderful Pascal Director of Development. And um, I just want to maybe pass the hat to Kat Pascal to speak a little bit about why she, like I, am also so very excited about what our future holds. Doug, our fearless director just said to you, um, this is, we really leaving challenging and unprecedented times, but we're so excited because the Atlas is a performing art center because of you. What we do at the Atlas, we're able to do it every day because of you, because of your donations, because of your persistence, and most of all, because of your partnerships. The beauty of the Atlas, what makes the Atlas so unique is because day after day, we get to see you, but not only we get to see you as a patron or as donors, but you're part of our family, the family of the Atlas Performing Arts Center. And that is very inspiring, inspiring every day, I know, that that day will be different because of you, because of what you allow us to do. So as difficult as it is right now, we are very optimistic about the future because the future is with you, is not only with the arts that we're able to produce week after week, seasons after seasons, but it's also because you will be there. You will be there like Rachel. So Rachel is our guest today, and she happens also to be a donor of the Atlas. Hi, Rachel. Hey, everybody. Hi, Rachel. Yes, that's right. I I am a donor, and I've loved the Atlas for a long time. You know, it's one of the only places in D.C. you can go to see all of the art forms. And I got married there last year. <laughs> so Congratulations. Thank you so much. I feel really quite fortunate to have been able to have a wedding last September. And um, it really blew everybody away. But that's what happens when you're in a historic venue with professional lights and sound and uh, your entire big family. So um, my husband is an artist and he has also uh, done a couple of artworks for the Intersections Festival, part of the Artscape Activation. So after we had done that a few times together, there really was just no other place for us to be married. Uh, in such a creative and inspiring environment. So I really feel so fortunate that it happened. So I, I hope a lot of folks can reschedule and be at the Atlas come 2021, 20, 22, whenever, whenever um, the Atlas does reopen. Uh, I, I plan to tell everybody to try to come and do an event with you guys. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you so much. This is the type of partnerships that we were talking about. Long time partnership, partnerships for life. Yeah. Whether you're a donor, your patron, your friends, your special guests, your foundations. So, thank you. You're welcome. Thanks, Rachel.
And we cannot wait to see you again, to hug some of you again. But most importantly, we want you to know that the Atlas is here to stay. We'll see you very soon. We'll continue our partnerships. Whether you are new donors, you're part of the 225 new donors of the Atlas since September 2019. Whether you're part of the Foundation's family that continue to support our fundraising effort, or your new corporation that is eager to donate again to our gala next year. Thank you so much. We're here to stay. We want to see you. We want to hear from you. It's okay to send emails. It's okay to look at our Facebook page. If you want to send us messages, we'll be delighted to share them with our network of friends and donors. And most importantly, be safe. Stay healthy. We're keeping the light on for you, and we can't wait to see you back here at the Atlas. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, guys.